What's up, people? Mr. Fowler here bringing you another video. I just got home. Um, you know something, though? I, I, I just want, needed to say this. I am getting really tired of apologizing for other people's stupidity. <sighs> because... I just got done with the delivery, right? They lived in an apartment complex. Of course, no gate code given, and it was a gate. There was a gate that was closed. So I had to call him. He tells me it's either this code or this code, but I'm not sure. By then, somebody else came through and opened up the gate, so then I just followed him, them in. He hangs up. So I follow the GPS to the number building that it said and it turns out that they gave the address for the lease leasing building so obviously that's not them especially because it's 10 something at night uh, so the leasing part would be closed anyway so I had to call him again and he's like oh yeah the GPS always does that GPS always does it because you keep giving the gate the the address to the leasing building. If you gave the address to your building, it might not do that anymore. Like I don't I don't know. Like I, maybe not. Maybe that's just how it works. Would because their building didn't have a number on it. The other buildings had numbers on it, but half of them had a letter on it instead. But they could have included that. There's an option in the notes where you can say anything you want to the driver so they can know. You can give the gate code, you can tell them what building letter or number or whatever, if that, you can tell them to go here instead of here if the GPS takes you somewhere else and you already know that, which they did. But he's like, oh yeah, it always does that. Um, just meet me out by where you just came in, by the gate, and I'll meet you there. So I said, okay. And he hangs up again. So then I go and drive back to the gate. There's no place to park by the gate. So I had to try to do a U-turn and try to try to find the closest parking spot by the gate. He calls me again. He's like, hey, I'm outside waiting. There, he's not by the gate. So I said, um, I don't see you. Where, where are you? He said, oh, I'm outside building H. You just went by it. I drove by all of them. So I was like, okay. So I start driving down that way, and he's like, are you the one driving past the mailbox? There's a couple people driving at the same time. And there's a mailbox by every building. So I was like, that depends which mailbox you're talking about. And he's like, okay, what dri what car are you driving? I said, a PT Cruiser. And he's like, oh, yeah, I see you. Okay, uh, you see me? I don't see anything because it's, it's, it's nighttime, so it's dark. And then I, I pull, I keep going, and then I finally see him with the cell phone. Some guy with a cell phone that's walking down the sidewalk. I was like, okay, yeah, I see you. Then I give him the food. Well, drinks. They, they order two, two drinks. And I give it to him through the passenger's window. And I say, I'm sorry about that. And he says, oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Not saying, oh, no, I'm sorry. No. That's okay, don't worry about it. Implying that it was my fault that I could not find him the first time. I hate doing that. I hate... I, I am one of the nicest people that you will ever meet. But that is something that I cannot stand, is apologizing to people for their stupidity. That drives me up the wall. Because I hate, hate taking blame for something I did not do. That is the most annoying thing ever to me. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys can relate. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.